This week is the, uh, the Nationalised Sleds World and it's, uh, it's being held here in Abu Ghraini and it's obviously a celebration of Welsh culture so this exhibition is, is timely in the sense that we've made sure that we involve poets and uh, writers who do use the Welsh landscape, Welsh themes in their work. To live in Wales is to be conscious at dusk of the spilled blood that went into the making of the wild sky, dyeing the immaculate rivers in all their courses. It is to be aware above the noisy tractor and hum of the machine of strife in the strung woods, vibrant with sped arrows. You cannot live in the present, at least not in Wales. There is the language, for instance, the soft consonants, strange to the year. There are cries in the dark at night as owls answer the moon and thick ambush of shadows hushed at the field's corners. There is no present in Wales and no future. There is only the past, brittle with relics, wind-bitten towers and castles with sham ghosts, mouldering quarries and mines, and an impotent people, sick with inbreeding, worrying the carcass of an old song. I think making paintings exclusively about the Welsh landscape and located in, in Wales is something which is sort of a universal theme. It's not specifically to do with just Wales. Similarly with the work here, I think I've not located any of them geographically. So I've not said they are mountains in this particular place. They are really the ubiquitous sort of landscape which we all inhabit. And it's really about how we live in our environment. And I think it's very important that these paintings, these images are shown in that environment because people can make very direct relationships to the sense of place.